Question 21 of JAM 2019 Chemistry Exams. A given quantity of gas occupies a volume of 228 cm cube at a pressure of 750 millimeter mercury. What will be its volume at atmospheric pressure? This is from Boyle's Law. So we're going to be using P1V1 is equal to P2V2, where P and V are the pressures and volumes respectively. So we have our P1 to be 750 multiplied by 228 at V1 is equal to 760 times V2. So our V2 made subject of the formula is going to be 750 times 228 all over 760. That's going to give us 225 cm cube. That corresponds to option B. Question 22 of JAM 2019 Chemistry Examination. Calculate the volume of carbon dioxide measured at STP, that is standard temperature and pressure. Produce when 1 kg, that is kilogram of potassium hydrogen trioxocarbonate for is totally decomposed. These are values for molar volume of gas at STP or potassium carbon hydrogen. For us to calculate the volume of carbon dioxide, we must first of all write the equation of reaction. So this is it, potassium hydrogen trioxocarbonate for being decomposed by heat. To give us these products we have here, and carbon dioxide as one of the products. So we calculate the molar mass of this compound, potassium hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4, and that's going to give us 200. That is, 200 grams of this gives us uh, the molar volume of gas at STP. So 1 kg, which is equivalent to 1,000 gram, will give us 1,000 multiplied by 22.4 divided by 200 and that's going to give us 112 per dm cube. So our answer is option C. Question 23 of JAM Chemistry 2019. A sample of gas exerts a pressure of 8.28 when confined in the 2.93 dm cube container at 20 degrees Celsius. The number of moles of gas in the sample is we going to be using the ideal gas equation, which is PV is equal to N R O T, where N is a number of moles. A P is pressure, V volume, R O is a universal gas constant, and T is temperature. Converting our 20 degrees Celsius to Kelvin temperature, we're going to be having 20 plus 273, and that is 293 Kelvin. So, substituting our values for the alphabets in the equation, we have 8.2 times 2.93, all over 0 0.082 times 293. That's going to give us 1.00. That is option A. Question 24 of JAM 2019 Chemistry Examination. Atoms of element X with two electrons in the outer shell combined with atoms of Y with seven electrons in the outer shell. Which of the following statements is false? The compound that would be formed would simply be a combination of X and Y. So it would be a possible crossing of x and y. We're going to be having x to y to 1. When we cross that, we're going to be having x, y, subscript 2 and not x, y. So the correct answer here is option A. Question 25 of John 2019 Chemistry Examination. The ions x minus and y plus are isoelectronic, each containing a total of 10 electrons. How many protons are in the nuclei of the neutral atoms of X and Y respectively? When we have X minus, it means that the atom gained an electron, so that's going to be 10 plus 1. And in the other side of the coin, if we have Y plus, it means the atom has lost an electron, that's going to be 10 minus 1. So we're going to be having 11 and 9. So the correct answer to this question is option C. Question 26 of JAM 2019 Chemistry Examination. How many grams of H2SO4 are necessary for the preparation of 0.175 dmq of 6 molar H2SO4? H2SO4 stands for tetroxosulfate 6 acid and the molar mass is 98. We ask to calculate mass and mass is number of moles times molar mass, that is N times M. And the number of moles is concentration times volume. We're going to be having 6, which is our concentration here multiplied by 0 0.175 which is the volume that's going to give us 1.05 so we multiply 1.05 which is our number of moles multiplied by molar mass which is 98 we're going to be having 102.9 grams this is approximately 103 grams that corresponds to option b question 27 of jam 2019 chemistry examination 
Copper 2 tetroxysulfate 6 solution is electrolyzed using carbon electrodes, which of the following are produced at the anode and cathode respectively. The correct answer to this question is oxygen and copper. During electrolysis, copper 2 tetroxysulfate 6 is dissociated into copper ions and sulfuric ions. And at the end of SO4 reacts with water to liberate oxygen. And at the cathode, copper is deposited. Question 28 of JAM 2019 Chemistry Examination. Calculate the mass in kilograms of magnesium produced by the electrolysis of magnesium 2 chloride in a cell operating for 24 hours at 500 amperes. One Faraday is equivalent to 96500 Coulomb per mole and the molar mass of magnesium is 24. For us to solve this problem, we're going to be writing a very small equation here. In the process, magnesium loses two electrons. And so two electrons is equivalent to two Faraday, or Faradays rather. One Faraday is equivalent to 96500 Coulomb. So two Faradays will give us two multiplied by 96500. That will give us this value you see here. Then we also calculate uh, the quantity of electricity during that time. So that is equivalent to the current multiplied by time. So our current is 500 amperes multiplied by 24 times 60 times 60. That is converting 24 hours to seconds. And we're going to be having this value here. For us to solve the problem, we're going to be using the formula mass is equal to molar mass multiplied by quantity of electricity all over a number of Faradays. That will give us 24, which is the molar mass of magnesium, multiplied by the value, that is the quantity of electricity, divided by 19300, that is the number of Faradays. And so our answer is going to be 5.4 kg to two decimal place. And that is equivalent to option B. So the final answer, or the answer to this question, is 5.4. Question 29 of Jam Chemistry 2019. We are given an equation here, and the question is, the changes in oxidation numbers when the manganese, chloride, and hydrogen ions react according to the above equation are respectively. So, we have rewritten the equation involving manganese, chlorine, and hydrogen. And these are our products. Manganese exponent 2 plus chlorine plus hydrogen. If you look at this equation carefully, the oxidation number of manganese has changed from 0 to minus 2 over here. Chlorine has changed from 0 to plus 1. Hydrogen has changed from 1 to 0. And so the correct answer to this question is minus 2, 1 and 0, which is option C. Question 30 of the JAM 2019 chemistry examination. We are given a reaction above. Let's look at the reaction below. This is the same reaction we are written. So the question is, in the reaction, the oxidizing agent is, here we have been given iodine reacting with sulfide ion. So from the left hand side of the equation, we'll be having I subscript 2 and this other side, the right hand side, will be having two molecules of iodide ion. So the oxidation number obviously has changed from zero on the left side of the equation to minus one. So the correct answer to this question is iodine, that is option B.